All right, this question is, uh, they called Social Security, and this person has a bunch of gaps in their work record. Um, so they went on to ssa.gov, as I always say, and then set up an account and check your work record. Because again, Social Security def figures out how much you're going to receive in retirement and disability and everything by how much you actually paid into Social Security. For, for retirement, it's your high 35 years of earnings. So this particular individual has some gaps in there that he needs to correct. And it looks like he watched one of my videos and I told him how to do that. And the employee at the Social Security Administration, probably a new employee, they didn't know what they're talking about, said, hey, there are no place in the back room. It appears they don't have a file somewhere in the back room with all my information and employers, like you said on YouTube, where they can verify and update my records. That's not really the back room. It's called a suspense file. And it's actually in the, you know, the big computer center back east in Baltimore. Um, but, um, yeah, this employee just, unfortunately, probably a new employee or didn't know, or just being lazy or whatever the case may be, that was unfortunate. Um, but they, if your employer or you, if it's a W-2, it's usually your employer notifies the IRS and the IRS notifies social security. And somewhere along the line, there's something happens uh, you, when you file a tax, when you file taxes, the Social Security number is wrong or something like that. And there are, it's what Social Security in the computer system, and it's, it's suspense, the suspense file, it's called. It's, it's not really, a, you know, an actual physical file, but it's, uh, it's in the computer system. And then the person just has to look and see in that particular year. So you have to have the employer identification number of the, the place you worked at, and they will look at the, um, that employer notification of earnings for that particular year. So if you have, you know, Kentucky fried chicken or whatever the case, or, you know, Lockheed Martin or whatever in 2002, and then, so they will look at, you know, Lockheed Martin, 2002 in the suspense file and see if there's any earnings out there that are just in limbo that nobody has raised their hand and say, Hey, those are my earnings. Um, so if you say, Hey, I work for Lockheed Martin and you know, 2002, I think what I'd say, 2002, then they will look at there and they'll say, Hey, here's one that's, you know, your name is John Smith. And they actually put it as J O N instead of J O H N or the social security number is, you know, one digit off or something like that. And it's obviously you because you tell them, Oh yeah, I made about, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars. So they look at it. Yep. That's Lockheed Martin. It's that particular year. The, the, the name is, you know, 99% correct. They just, you know, H and an N or whatever. And the social security number is exactly the same, except the last, except the last two is one, two instead of two, one. So that is a suspense file. And this particular employee just, yeah, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Um, but if your earnings didn't get through the system and they are not in that suspense file, then unfortunately, yeah, you'll have to go to the IRS and get uh, W-2s for that particular year provided to social security um, and uh, they will update your record. So it's, uh, it's pretty easy to, uh, to update records with uh, the information those particular years when you actually get it or if they're able to find it in the suspense. Um, unfortunately, in terms of an appointment, you can't make an appointment uh, for that in 99% you know, of the offices. Um, for Social Security offices, the only type of appointments you can really make are for new claims. So if you're filing for a new survivor benefits or a new you know, retirement or disability or Medicare or something like that, you can set up an appointment. Um, but if you already have something, you know, you're already receiving benefits, it's, you know, most offices don't set up appointments for what we call PE, post entitlement issues. Um, so, yeah. So sorry, your service wasn't great. And hopefully they uh, get it all figured out. Um, and you're going to be 65 and that also includes your Medicare. So give us a call and we can, uh, have someone from our network, uh, give you a call and, uh, go around and help you with all your Medicare options. You get your part A and part B and, uh, that's never enough. So you'll need some type of supplement and, uh, um, let us know and we'll have someone from our network reach out to you and help you out.
All right. Thanks for the question. Take care.